So I may have just figured out why Kid wants to kill Shanks. But of course, to talk about the spoilers for Egghead. But I think that Kid wants to kill Shanks because Shanks killed Kid and Killer's childhood friend Victoria. The only image she has is the throwaway one that Oda made for an SBS. So I made my own that kind of shows what she would look like if she didn't die. But you might be thinking, why would Shanks have killed Victoria? And it's a good question, but the answer is a bit of a stretch, but you gotta hear me out. I think that Victoria ended up eating the gum gum fruit on accident, or maybe stole it from Shanks or something, and he thought she ate it. And as a result, in order to save the rest of the world, he needed to kill her to put the fruit back into rotation so he can find it and ultimately end up giving it to Luffy or Ace, but obviously Luffy. Now, of course, with a theory like this, I got some explaining to do, but to start that, we gotta go a bit back. And I'm not talking about Kids Alliance, I'm talking about something that's so far back it's only in an SBS. And it's an SBS of Volume 87 where Oda's explaining the character of Victoria. He explains that Victoria was Killer and Kid's childhood crush and they would both try to like fight for her affection all the time. But one day they accidentally spilled noodles on her so she beat them up and then never spoke to them again. However, it says she was killed by a criminal gang that was controlling the country she resided in. Now, a criminal gang can also be just pirates. While Shanks does get love and praise by the people that he has allies with, at the end of the day, he's still a pirate and not everybody in the world is cool with him. Especially when a lot of the South Blue had gangs and mafias in it anyway. And it's not to say that because of that, Shanks did do it, it just makes him a suspect. But what's really interesting is that afterward, it says in response to her murder, Kid, Killer, He, and Y revolted against the gang and overthrew them from power. And yeah, I know that it says that he overthrew the gang from power, but I don't think that he did this to Shanks. I was thinking it could have been one of Shanks' allies because they're known for being notoriously weak. Maybe he didn't expect somebody to attack them because his flag was protecting them. But as we know with Kid, he does not care. But it was after this that he made a pirate crew and then he sailed out on the sea on his new ship, the Victoria Punk. And despite him not doing too much in Saba Odi, when we saw something plot related from Kid, the first thing it was was trying to take out Red Hair Shanks. And as you see Killer saying right here, he says, our target is Red Hair Shanks. Because it looked like a meeting where Kid and Killer were bringing Apu and Hawkins up to speed. After all, he found Shanks and tried to fight them already without having an alliance. So it's safe to say that Shanks was Kid and Killer's target long before they made their alliance. Because he seemedly tried to fight Shanks with Jess's crew before, then made an alliance to try to fight him. But then after that fell through, he tried to fight him again anyway. Where Shanks not only destroys him, but also destroys his ship, the Victoria Punk. Essentially killing Victoria twice now. And before the people say that Shanks' hometown is in the West Blue, which it was, not the South Blue, Keep in mind, that's because he was born on God Valley, which was in the West Blue. But as we all know, this place don't exist no more, so how could Shanks, who was on Roger's ship when he was two years old, or at least a toddler in the chest, get anything from his hometown? I think he had a new hometown. And it was probably less of a hometown and more of just like a hub where Roger and his crew just kind of stayed around, like what Shanks did with Fusha Village. And usually we only see people react like this to scars that they have to people that they have a vendetta against. Like Kid was more level-headed dealing with Big Mom than he was dealing with Shanks. And I think it's because Shanks is personal. He's trying to take down the one that either killed or caused the death of Victoria. And yeah, I know that this is all just speculation on my part, but we've all kind of speculated that Shanks had to have some type of dark side about him. And with how much recently Oda tries to like parade Shanks as a hero like this, walking into battle with the giant warriors and his crew behind him, ladies snatching on him while he walks, it seems like a clear misdirect to make it seem like Kid's the one that's in the wrong and Shanks is the one in the right. But I think for Shanks, it's just business because he's just trying to make sure that the right person gets the Nika fruit and they can save the world. So if this turns out to be true, this makes it a really bittersweet type of scenario. Because on that hand, I would really feel for Kid and I couldn't be mad at anything he's doing. But on the other hand, I wouldn't be able to be mad at Shanks either because he's trying to do everything he can to make sure that the next 1,000 years aren't covered by the world government again. And I don't make many theories and I know that this one is kind of out there, but if you have some thoughts on it, let me know down below.